A teenage found dead in the woods five days after attending a party, but why did the cops initially say it was due to natural causes? Could there be more to this tragic story than meets the eye? Teen found dead in woods five days after party. Jake, a 17-year-old boy with blonde hair and deep blue eyes, is the life of the party. With a dynamic appearance and simple dressing style, he usually wears a t-shirt and jeans, creating comfort for the crowd. The people in the cabin a mysterious group of unclear ages, but they all looked the same gloomy faces, empty eyes and shabby clothes, as if they were living in another world. Jake's group of friends all teenagers with a youthful and energetic style, often wearing t-shirts and shorts at parties. They appeared relaxed and cheerful. The police, the ones who appeared after Jake was discovered, had a formal and cold appearance. They wore standard uniforms and often used investigative tools. One July evening, the sky was clear and the air was fresh. Jake and his group of close friends decided to throw a big party to celebrate the holiday in the woods outside town. The campfire was burning brightly. The music was loud and the laughter was hearty, creating a wonderful scene. Jake, a 17-year-old boy with golden hair and blue eyes, was the soul of the party. He was always the one who stirred up the atmosphere, making everyone feel happy and comfortable. Deep inside Jake, there was something unusual. Tonight, the smile on his lips seemed forced. His eyes were distant as if he was thinking about something important. As the night fell, the party began to quiet down. The small fires gradually died down, leaving only a few embers flickering in the darkness. Everyone was tired, some people laid down to rest on picnic blankets. Others were still whispering, their voices mixed with a bit of fatigue and happiness. Jake stood up and left the group without saying a word. He wanted to enjoy some quiet time, thinking about his plans for the future. Jake walked deeper into the forest, stepping lightly on the carpet of dry leaves, the sound of branches rustling under his feet. The forest seemed to be immersed in silence, only the sound of the wind blowing through the treetops and the chirping of insects coming from all directions. He walked and walked until he realized he had lost his way in a part of the forest that he had never been to before. The ancient trees grew densely, blocking out the light from the night sky. In the dim darkness, Jake suddenly discovered an old wooden house, hidden by the dense foliage. The house was small, the wooden walls faded over time, the windows covered with rotten wood panels, making this place look like a house abandoned for a long time. Jake felt curious. He stepped closer. The light from the oil lamp in the house flickered through the crack in the door, creating strange shadows on the ground. Inside, there were whispers, strange words that Jake couldn't understand. His heart began to beat faster. A feeling of unease crept into his heart. He stopped in front of the door, put his hand on the wooden board, and pushed gently. The door was unlocked, opening easily. Jake stepped inside, and immediately he felt regret. Inside the house, there was a group of people gathered around a small altar. Candles burned brightly, illuminating gloomy, emotionless faces. On the altar, there were strange items, small statues, and unidentifiable objects. The people in the house didn't recognize Jake right away. He stood there, his limbs shaking, trying to understand what was going on. But then, for a moment, one of the men turned, his sharp eyes meeting Jake's. Without warning, the group became angry. They quickly surrounded Jake, their eyes cold and empty. Jake panicked, tried to back away, but he tripped over an old rug and fell to the ground. What did you see a hoarse voice rang out, cold as a sharp knife? Jake couldn't answer, his throat choked with terror. He tried to stand, but his trembling legs couldn't support his weight. You shouldn't be here, another said, his tone heavy and menacing. Jake knew he had stumbled upon something extremely dangerous, a secret he should never know. 
These people weren't ordinary people. They were part of a secret society, performing dark rituals in the dark, where no one could witness them. Jake tried to run away. He turned around, rushing out the door with all his remaining strength. But unfortunately, while running, he bumped into a small table, causing the items on the table to fall to the ground with a loud noise. This made the people in the house even more determined. They couldn't let an outsider know their secret. Jake ran as fast as he could in the forest, his feet hitting the rocks, tripping over jagged tree roots. But he didn't stop, fear was pushing him further faster. He heard footsteps chasing behind him, panting in the sound of wind whistling past his ears. The forest suddenly became an endless maze. He could no longer remember the way out, he could no longer know where he was. There was only one thing in Jake's mind run. But the dense and dark forest did not allow him to run forever. Suddenly, he slipped and fell down a small slope. Jake rolled down, feeling the pain as his body hit the ground, the sharp branches digging into his flesh. He tried to stand, but the pain from the fall made it impossible to move. Jake looked up, and before him, the black silhouettes of the group had surrounded him. Their eyes were cold without mercy. Jake knew that this was the end, but he couldn't understand why it had happened. All he wanted was a peaceful night in the woods, a moment to think about his future. But now everything had disappeared in the mist of dark rituals. The next morning, Jake's friends woke up with a hangover from alcohol. No one noticed that Jake was missing until they were packing up and getting ready to leave. At first, they thought Jake might have gone home earlier, but when they called him and got no answer, their worries began to grow. Jake's family was notified, and a search was quickly organized. It took five days for a group of people walking through the woods to discover Jake's body. He was lying among the dead leaves, his body cold and stiff. The police arrived on the scene, but they quickly concluded that Jake had died of natural causes. Maybe a heart attack or stroke, they said. Everyone was shocked, but no one asked any more questions. To them, Jake's death was tragic, but not suspicious. However, there was one thing the police didn't know, and no one else did either Jake had discovered a dark secret in the woods. A secret that the people in the cabin were determined to keep secret at all costs. They did everything they could to cover up the truth, to make Jake's death look like a natural event. And thanks to the shortcomings of the initial police investigation, their secret was preserved. But that forest, along with the mysterious cabin, is still there, waiting, as silent as it was, waiting for someone else to accidentally step in, like Jake once did, and perhaps never to come out. Don't take your eyes off the screen because we have many other interesting cases for you to watch. Thank you for watching until the end of the video.